JW, thank you so much. This is your first time here. Well, I'm putting on a show for you. We're gonna do the no teaspoon challenge again because I failed last time. Not because I didn't win, but because I accidentally teaspoon. Teaspoon. Teaspoon? Teaspoon? Um, I eventually just got used to this. I think this controller really sucks. Wait, I didn't know that. That's cool. So it's called a Tetris because it uses one of each block. Let's see. There's a T piece. There's a... What's the E piece? I, I, as far as I know, an E piece doesn't exist. Oh, wait, is it the, the shape of the piece itself more than the... Wait, I didn't even mean to do the strat. No, I didn't want to do this strat. Stop. I didn't mean to do the bait strat. <laughs> I was like, whoa there, I'm, I just stung a beehive. I would teaspoon for you for um, subbing JWJW, but unfortunately I'm playing a no teaspoon round, so hopefully, hopefully you understand, and maybe it'd just be better if I brought you a W. How does that sound? This is dedicated to JW, J-dubs. The Taho spin. Normally I T-spin for people. But, uh, we're playing, we're playing to not T-spin. Alright, watch this. Did you guys see that? that trim that cleared the lines. Um, I actually think classic Tetris helps in learning those kind of trims um, because you're forced to really dig out your well and, and like it's especially important in those situations. I'm actually not sure how like the mini mechanics work. My guess is that it just like tugs a certain way. I'm not sure if it actually checks. I really want to T-spin this, but I know I can't. All right, so we're doing the no T-spin challenge. I would put a red piece here if I could, but we're not T-spinning. All right, we're winning this game by Tetrises. We're gonna do it the way that my parents did, by simply just Tetrising. We're gonna build up, do a little bit of damage. <laughs> the way that got intended. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't fun cancel here or teachy. That's not allowed in this country. Wow, I have no like even flat ground to. So if I could T-spin, this would not be an issue because I can put pieces in a way that could create a cavity, but it's not really a bad thing because it turns into a T-spin opportunity. Fun canceling. Definitely fun canceling here. You're... Ooh, do you sleep every night with this bear? Um, I would say I have a talk with him and see if you can make the request that you have him on noise plug nose plugs just to see if that's possible. Um, you get a, or you can get a white noise machine. I, I find that usually helps. Um, 
We can ask my wife this tomorrow. She actually complains about my snoring. What I ended up doing is I sleep on the couch on most nights, so like I don't go into the, the bedroom and because uh, she wakes up really early, so I don't want her, I want her to get the best sleep she can. So, um, say get a white noise machine if, if that's possible, that you sometimes help. Ask your roommate to wear nose plugs if possible, although that is, it's somewhat uncomfortable to wear and get used to. Um, so I had a Game Boy growing up, so that was my first exposure to Tetris. And then, um, I didn't really play it that much as a kid, like, or I did on the original Game Boy, and then I stopped playing it for a while. We got newer systems, newer games, so I didn't really have much of an interest in Tetris after that. Um, large interest came from when Tetris was on Facebook with Tetris friends, and I wanted to be the best amongst my friends, and so I grinded that game un unbelievably hard to be the best, like no one ever was. And so that's how I got pretty good at the game, and um, always love puzzle games. Um, everything from Tetris Attack to... Um, to Puzzle Fighter, to... Let me think. I almost T-spin, so I have to like, kind of catch myself. So yeah, I mean, I just always had an interest in puzzle games. Um, board games, card games, anything very strategic. Um, I played a lot of. Yeah, the decision for them to not include Tetris as a package game was actually amazing. I see that you guys read the... Um, I see you guys are familiar with the... The, what was it? The gaming historian that tells that story of, like, the early days of Tetris. Alright, we're gonna have to... Well, I don't make this easy on myself, do I? Think of all the T spin setups. I'm just like thinking of T spin setups left and right. It's like T spins and taco are like ingrained. Now I have to just carve down without fun canceling. Wait, that, how's that a T-spin? That was... That shouldn't count, right? I didn't T-spin to break lines. Oh, you've been practicing. That doesn't count, right? <laughs> you cheater. All right, we did a no T-spin challenge. Are, are, are you shitting me? Okay, we did not T-spin to clear lines. I... I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, God. How did I even T-spin? I'm so mad. All right, this is... That, that, that shouldn't count. That should 100% not count. 